Hey guys, my name is Anna. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm giving you my second update for my Rolling 10 eyeshadow project pan. Now if you don't already know, this is a project pan where I get to choose 10 eyeshadows that I want to work on, either hit pan or finish them or whatever goal I choose and then once I hit that goal, I roll something else in. And if you don't already know, I have 7 of my 10 shadows in this e.l.f. palette which they're all Franken shadows that I created myself, and I will put up a picture of what it looked like last month. And as you can see from those pictures, I have finished two shades this past month. So these two shadows, this one was a pale pink shimmer, and I used this up by having it as my inner corner, my brow bone, and a face highlight. I actually finished it up today, and I used it as all of those things plus a lid shade. So I <laughs> really wanted to use it up today. <laughs> and I really liked it as a face highlight because it's it looks good on my pink skin tone. And this was a kind of taupe matte, and I used this um, quite a bit in the month. And yeah, I use it in a lot of cooler tone or neutral looks because it could pull both ways. And yeah, I really liked it. I kind of miss it in a sense, but I'm glad it's done. It's really satisfying that I finished the first three in this palette, gotta say. Um, last time, my goal was to finish this shadow and I did that. And I also wanted to work on this gold and I haven't really worked on it a ton. Mm. Yeah, I haven't worked on it as much as I wanted to, and same with these other two, I haven't really worked on a ton. I did use them once or twice, and this matte, I made pretty significant progress. I've been using it a lot because it's pinky purple. I actually have it in my crease today. I quite like it because I do like cool tones. And this one, this purple, blue shade, I used several times too, more than I thought I would, so I'm pretty proud of that. I hit significant side pan, if you can't tell. So yeah, that's exciting. Now I forgot to talk about how I took a picture of one of my looks and I used that matte pinky purple shade in the crease and that deep bluish purple one in the outer V. And then when I blended them together, it actually looked really purpley and really pretty and I quite liked it. And I actually used my glittery liquid pink eyeshadow in my other project pan on the lid in a silver in the inner corner. And so, yeah, I really like that look. I thought I'd just add that, that I did that. I don't know. I thought it was a fun look. Now, another shade of mine was in this Wet n Wild palette, also update. It's more broken than last time. Woo! <laughs> we love that. Um, I'll put a picture of what it looked like last time. And my goal was to maybe finish it this time, but I, as you can tell, I didn't quite do that, but I almost did. There is so little left. I use it three times maybe. I can't remember exactly, but yeah. I definitely want to finish it by next month though because there is so little left. And now that this completely fell off, more motivation for me to like clear this palette out. And my last two shades were from the Wet n Wild Petalette Quad and I will put pictures of my progress. And so the shades I was working on were these two, and I haven't made a ton of progress. I used them once or twice each. I think I used this as a face highlight once, actually. My, the most progress that's visible is actually in the shade I'm not working on, but I definitely used it with these purple shadows and the ones in that other palette because I liked it as a liner and to deepen looks, and I didn't realize how close I was to hit pan, but here we are first day of senior year and I look around at all these people I've known in my life and I wonder what happened. So yes, that is my progress and I think for this next month and onward I plan on tallying my usages. Um, I got this idea from Steph Lyons, I love her channel, um, but I realized over the past few months that even though I, I don't know how much I'm using them and so I don't know how much progress means what and also some shadows I think I'm using more than I probably am and so I feel like this will make me more accountable and also be more helpful for you guys to understand how much I'm using them and how far I've gone and that kind of thing. So 
yeah, now that I've finished two shades, I'm rolling two more in. One of the shades I want to roll in is also from that Wet n Wild palette that's really falling apart and depressed. It's this Franken Green shade I made. I really like the shade I made. Um, some of the blue you can see made its home there. Um, but yeah, my plan is to finish that up. And another shade I want to do, my goal is to hit pan on it, not finish it. This um, middle shade right here, I'm trying to cover up spoilers for another project pan. But this is the oldest makeup item in my entire collection. I am a senior in high school right now. And I bought this trio for my freshman year homecoming. And that was before I got into makeup. There was like a pale shimmery pink on the top part I finished last year. And then the bottom had a darker matte brown, I think. And that one fell out because I dropped it and it shattered and got crumbly. And then the next time I dropped it, it just completely exploded out. So, <laughs> yeah, that one never really got love in the first place. But I actually, if I can find a picture, I had significant pan at the beginning of the year. But it was harder for me to use, so I repressed it so I could... It's a better consistency because it was really, really firmly pressed. Oh my gosh. Can I just say, before I was filming, I was still trying to pan things. And that took forever to hit pan on. I thought I would never do it. I was using it so much and the dip was so dramatic because it was a really deep pan. And I was like, when is the end of this? When will... Wh wh I don't get it. So <laughs> when I finally did, it was like heaven's doors swung open and I was like, it was amazing and then it started expanding really quickly but it was just that one spot and so like it was harder for me to get the sides just with the shape of the pan so I thought I should just repress it and now it's much softer easier to use I actually like using that shade all over the lid up to the crease like as a one shadow look and I also like using it in the crease mostly because it although it is shimmery it's not metallic enough for me to want to put it on my lids so I'm not scared of using shimmers in the crease I know like there's rules to put matte in the crease. Actually, makeup has no rules, but it does have a theory. Subscribe to Robert Welsh. <laughs> I'm just gonna like be plugging all these YouTubers in apparently during this, um, I was gonna call it an episode? During this video. So let's start on goals for next month. Now for this next month, I definitely want to focus actually on the gold, like actually use it. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I can finish it, but that'd be awesome, especially with that green. I feel like I can make some really cool looks with this gold and that green. I really want to focus on that. And um, I want to clear out this side of this purple pink shade. So it's just that side, like this corner. I cleared up the top. I want to clear out the other corner. And I'd like to maybe hit side pan on this side of the blue, like the other side. And I definitely want to finish this blue shade because that's um, barely there. And I don't think I have goals for the new ones I rolled in just to start using them. And for these shades, I, now that that light pink shimmer is out, I think I wanna focus on this purple more and maybe try to hit side pan on one of these sides. I don't know, anyways. That is everything, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later, bye.